7 News starts with breaking news. I've confirmed exclusively the parole officer who failed to track down Evan Ebel, the man who killed two people, including the state prison's chief, is getting new responsibilities. He's among the nine parole officers chosen for the DOC's new fugitive apprehension unit. My call 7 investigation finding it's the third specialized unit he's been assigned to, despite the recent murders on his watch. You may remember Ebel was a fugitive himself, an absconder on the run. My Call 7 investigation was first to expose time cards showing Ebel's officer worked half days and took the weekend off during the five days Ebel's ankle monitor was sending alerts and Ebel was committing murder. First, killing Nate Leon for his part-time delivery uniform, then posing as a pizza delivery man to murder former prison's chief Tom Clements at his front door. I asked DOC spokeswoman Allison Morgan how they justify their decision to promote the parole officer who didn't immediately start tracking down Evan Ebel, a designated high-risk parolee who was supposed to be under intense supervision. I'm still waiting for an answer, but in the past, DOC has maintained the officer did nothing wrong because protocols for tracking absconders were never clearly defined. Parole was given an additional $1 million by the Joint Budget Committee last month to fund the new unit. In this email to parole employees sent last night, which I've obtained, Division Director Steve Hager says the Fugitive Apprehension Unit will reduce the number of absconders and send a message to any parolee who contemplates fleeing supervision. Now, I did hear back from the DOC within the last 30 minutes, and they tell me that they cannot discuss personnel matters. They say that everyone on that new unit will be held accountable. Now, I have not and will not identify any of the parole officers in deference to their safety. I am still working this breaking story. I'll update you on the 7 News app and tonight on 7 News at 10. And if you have a story for me or any of the Call 7 investigators, call us at 303-832-7777. You can also reach us by email at thedenverchannel.com.